Oh, hey guys, welcome to my home. Let's cook together today. This hair is just gonna while out. I, I can't control my hair. So if you're like me and you just finished the new season of The Crown and you discovered a new obsession with Princess Diana, you go down the rabbit hole on YouTube trying to learn everything about her. During one of my recent Princess Diana binges, I found out what her favorite meal was. It was super easy to make, stuffed bell peppers. According to this delish video on YouTube, said that she ate mostly vegetarian when she dined alone, which is pretty cool. So today, we're gonna make Princess Diana's favorite stuffed bell peppers, but we're gonna make them vegan. Super simple. All right, so let's get in the kitchen and let's make Princess Diana's favorite stuffed bell peppers. All right, first things first, wash your damn hands. And nasties. So now we just have to cut off the tops and take out their guts. Nice little crevice for to stuff a bunch of stuff in there. Oh, what the hell? What is that? It's like a little baby pepper inside of it. Aw. I'm using a little dish. It's like the perfect size for all of the peppers. Just a little casserole dish. So it's a drizzle with a little olive oil and salt and bake for 25 minutes. Just bought a big ass canister of oil, so I think I'm good to go. Oil bath. You guys probably want to see what I'm doing. <gasps> His head fell off. Oh no! I'm gonna just drizzle with a little bit of salt. Look how pretty these are. Oh, so lovely. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 25 minutes to pre cook them. Oh, there's stuff in there. Oh shit. Whoopsie. Welcome to my house, everyone. No big deal. All right. Those babies are in there 25 minutes. Hey there, it's Maria's disembodied voice. Welcome. <laughs> so just chop up your red onion, your zucchini, and your mushrooms. Welcome to my stove. Yes, I know my pan. I need a new pan. I'm waiting until I get sponsored and they give me a pan. I'm trying to get some sponsorship. We're working on it. Any of you pan companies, especially the Our Place, the only pan. Oh, I forgot got my eyes on that bad boy. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna veer a little bit from their recipe because it honestly looks a little bland. <laughs> Well, the only spice is like oregano. So we're gonna s spice it up, if you will. All right, first thing we're gonna do after we heated our pan, we got oil, onions, and saute those first. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because we wanna season every layer. So this is a weird angle. Let's just, you guys just wanna see the pan. You'll hear my voice. So first we're just going to saute the red onions until they are translucent. Then we're gonna cook the mushrooms. After the mushrooms are cooked down for a couple minutes, we add the zucchini and then our oregano, our smoked paprika, our thyme, garlic powder, and a shit ton of fresh garlic. I like to use both because they offer different flavors. And then I thought this recipe needed a little bit more substance, so I added some canned chickpeas. And this recipe called for cooked white rice but I had some cooked barley on hand and I thought that would be an even better thing to add to this because it's so chewy. Barley is such an amazing grain, so I think it's pretty underrated. So barley, use whatever grain you have on hand, quinoa, whatever. And then a can of diced tomatoes and your vegetable broth. Cook that until everything kind of thickens and cooks down. I also added the tops of the bell peppers in here with this. It just adds a nice extra flavor, extra chewiness to the whole thing. If you guys have a good way to organize spice cabinets, then let me know because this is just ridiculous. It's a pain every time I try to find a spice. So I got some fresh basil leaves. Let's add like half a teaspoon in there. Oh, lots of flavor. I love it. I love barley. It's so chewy and it's really good for you. It's high in fiber, some minerals. So it's good to like vary up your grains. Certain gut bacteria gets used to eating that. So it's good to vary up your grains because then it like helps different types of gut bacteria proliferate. You know, different types of gut bacteria eat different things. So you wanna keep it varied. I read this book called Fiber Fueled, freaking amazing. If you have any gut health issues, read that book. Especially if you're new to eating a plant-based diet and you have issues digesting and you have a lot of gas, it's because your gut bacteria hasn't balanced out and, and developed the right kind of bacteria in there. So you're getting gassy and bloated and it's hard to digest. So read Fiber Fueled, amazing book. This is smelling incredible. Now that everything's cooked down a bit, add a handful of vegan mozzarella cheese. Whatever you have on hand is fine. I, this is my first time trying this Simple Truth brand from Kroger. I actually really liked it. It melted pretty well. I also ended up adding a little bit of nutritional yeast. I thought it would taste good. If you don't have it on hand, don't worry about it. But if you do, then I definitely encourage you to add it in. 
Ooh, it's time to stuff the peppers. Time to stuff the peppers. Now just bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes with vegan cheese. It definitely helps if you cover the peppers to get the cheese to melt. So yeah, just cook it until the cheese melts and you can cover it with like aluminum foil or with a lid, whatever you have on hand. Mmm, oh my God, yeah. That smoked paprika was perfect. It was just like a little bit of flavor it needed. That tastes amazing. Ooh, go Maria. This is so fun. Just like playing around in the kitchen, you know? Ooh, I'm so excited to eat this. I took some photos. Oh, it all just like opens up and falls apart like that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to eat this. Oh my gosh. This is freaking incredible. I'm definitely gonna make this again. I'm gonna, this is so good. All right, Princess Diana. Mmm, 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 mmm. This flavors are incredible. So I'll link the recipe below. I'll have it up on my blog by the time this video comes up. Make this for your friends, family, whenever you're able to see them again. <laughs> this meal will make you feel really good. It's like a nice warm hug inside. All right, well, I'm gonna finish eating my lunch. I hope you all enjoy this recipe. I had fun hanging out with you and cooking with you. I will see you all in the next video. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I'll see you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.